So get yourself a empty box so you can put your screws in. You're gonna need a security torx bit. It's a six sided as you can see. It's a size 30 to be able to remove all of these bolts. There's a whole bunch of them. So just remove remove all the bolts to be able to get the cover off. Alright, so after you remove all those bolts, you're gonna come over here and remove you're gonna come over here and remove this bolt and then this bolt. millimeter bolt right here and another 10 millimeter bolt right here and then come back on this side we've got this bolt right here and this one down here and then you'll be able to pry this cover off this one is a size 40 Torx now you'll be able to remove the cover. You're gonna have to remove this cover first, the back one. Prime's right out. Just like that. And then you'll be able to pry this cover. And don't worry, this cover has hinges right here. It has a little cable that's holding it so it doesn't fall over. As you can see. From right there and right there. As you can see, this is your hybrid battery. These right here are the fans. They go bad all the time. This is your computer. This is your service plug, actually, the one that we just disconnected. So, we're going to have to remove all this to be able to get access to the batteries there's two trays that are full of batteries the first tray has 13 rows and the bottom tray has 12 rows of batteries you can start off by removing this Phillips head for your fan put that in our box so we don't lose it and then there's another Phillips head right here Torques 30 bit, one right here, and one right here, and a third one right here, and a fourth one right here. And you'll be able to remove this cover first. Move this to the other side. We'll hold this like this. Remove these there are 10 millimeter nuts. There's one, two, three, four, four of them. And then, same thing on this side. There's one, two, three, four on this side too. So you can be able to remove your fans. Now you could just pry up on the fan, just like that, and wiggle it out. But before you do that, remove these. They just pop out. There's one on this side, and there's one on this side. They hold the fan into place. Now you'll be able to wiggle it out like that. Just put it to the side like this. You might need to disconnect these wires. Just get a pry tool. Just pry that out. Pry this one out.
after you disconnect the wires right here, you'll be able to remove this. And you should get your clippers and cut the zip ties that were right here. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to separate the battery packs. You got to disconnect all the wires. Then come on this side. There's two more clips right here. Try those back. And then you're going to have to you have to come over here and unravel this so you'll be able to get to your plug and just disconnect it right here just like that and do that on both sides now you're gonna have to get your wire cutter and disconnect all these zip ties or cut them so all these zip ties zip tie to be able to separate these wires like this and this is going to the battery pack and there these wires are for your temperature sensor for your battery next come on this side and remove this Phillips head that Phillips head and there's two more there's one down there and there's one on this side to be able to remove the computer and try to unplug these wires all right so now connect this uh, disconnect this zip tie or cut this zip tie and cut this zip tie you'll be able to remove this Disconnect this wire. Right. And then disconnect this wire. Just like that. Pull that out. And then as you can see, there's one screw down here. So one right here, one right there. And then this is the last one right here. Let's get to that. It's just the Phillips head. There's actually one more right there. So four total screws. And then you'll be able to try this up like that. And then disconnect this plug right here. And disconnect this plug right here. These two plugs. And these are going to your battery Get the zip tie. and then pull these wires back this one. this is ready to come out then you can remove the computer and put it now get your 10 millimeter and unbolt this bolt and then unbolt this right here this bolt right here it's a long bolt that's for your cover right here just pry that back it's just the cover get your number eight unbolt these two The Torx 25. Unscrew these two bolts. Or unbolt these two bolts. Just little small tiny bolts. And then you could pry this whole thing out. There's a 10 millimeter right there. And then 
unbolt this 10 millimeter. You don't have to do it all the way, just a little bit. So you'll be able to slide this, this module out. Just loosen these, and then there's another one there. Just loosen them. And then there's one right here, and one down here. Now, if you loosen them and uh, unbolt these, there's two Phillips head right here. One right here, and one right here. This is for your service plug. Unscrew these two. And then you'll be able to slide this out like that. You might want to remove this zip tie. To be able to slide this out all the way. You might want to unplug these connectors right here. There's three of them. One black one and two yellow ones or beige ones. Then you can remove this under here, through here. And then we'll be able to slide this out. Take this out. So disconnect this. It's just a Torx. 25 and just pry it out just like that so it'll give you enough room to be able to slide this out like that just like that you see it's disconnected now slide out from here and down there side right here. Now you're going to need your 8mm and disconnect all of these bolts. There's a whole bunch of them. They're all across the battery pack. And then get a 13mm and disconnect these bigger bolts. All these bigger bolts to be able to pry this cover off. you go this is your bottom tray the bottom pack and this is your upper tray all right guys so now we got the battery on the workbench I'm gonna start disconnecting I'm trying to open up the modules so you're gonna start off by removing this screw right here right here and there's a third one right here. Remove this. And then you're going to start by disconnecting all these number eight bolts all across here. And then going to disconnect this bar right here. See the bolts right there? On both sides. And then don't forget to disconnect this one too. It has two bolts right here. And then another one right here. Now you can get this. Now you can get this and pull it out. Be careful not to lose these rubber pieces right here. All these screws right here. And they're Torx 25 by the way. So you can remove this cover. 
I'm gonna just pry up on this. Just like that. And then you can remove this cover. And then you got more number eight bolts right here that are connecting the battery terminal. So disconnect all of these bolts right here. Actually, the only one that you have to disconnect is actually this one. Disconnect this one right here. Pull up on that. Remove your screw. And then you could pry up on this and put it to the side. And then same thing on this side. Move this like this. And disconnect these bolts right here to, to remove the cover. You're gonna remove this bolt right here. Another one on the side. There's six of them. Just like that. Uh, these are all. This is the wire harness for the battery. It has all the sensors, temperature sensors, and battery voltage, and all that. You just leave this all here. And then disconnect these Torx screws right here on the case. There's a couple of them. They're all around the case. And then you can disconnect the case. Put it to the side. And there you go. These are your batteries. Now you gotta test all these cells and see which one you got is bad. And as you can see, as you can see right here, how this has a negative. This thing right here means it's negative. This right here, as you can see, it's a positive. It's the positive side. It's the negative side. Positive, negative, positive, negative. And that's it. And you got 13 rows. And that's how you remove a hybrid battery out of a 2009 Ford Escape. Thanks for watching, guys.